What's up everybody, this is DDS and in this video I'm going to be talking about the uh, Cash Doll track that just came out a few days ago. Um, I had a few people asking me how did I go about getting that place and whatnot. So if you guys aren't familiar, Cash Doll is an artist from Detroit. She has a huge following. I believe she has, I don't want to say an exact number, but she has over 2 million followers on um, Instagram. And she's really popular throughout the country. And she just dropped a mixtape called The Vault on Monday. And um, I had the last track on there. And the way that track came about is a whole crazy story. Like, it's gonna tell y'all about collaboration and um, the benefits from it and different things like that. So the way the track came up was I was at Dej Loaf's birthday party and uh, an A&R came to me. He was saying that he wanted some beats for Lil Boosie. So I was like, okay, cool. So I said, I had some beats. So he said he needed beats with hooks. So I know this artist named Janaira. She puts hooks on tracks, she do her own singing and all that. I was first introduced to her from going to a studio. And at the time she was just like the quiet girl in the corner. She wasn't really saying anything, but they was like, oh, she could sing, she could sing. So I heard some of her music and I was like, let's see what we could put together one day. So eventually that led to um, me sitting down with her and uh, we were going through beats that she could put hooks on and she came up with different ideas. So we recorded the hooks, we sent them off for Boosie never heard anything back now keep in mind this was probably 2015 2016 so some years ago and then um i want to say it might have been 2016 still maybe 2000 early 2017 probably 2016 where she told me that she was in the studio with cash doll or they were somewhere in the same place i don't want to say they were in the studio i don't remember exactly what it was but um she ended up giving the beat to cash doll i think she said cash doll heard it and liked it so she decided to um, ask her if she could use it and then we did everything from there long story short here we are now with the track out and um, that just shows you guys the power of collaboration like if i wouldn't have trusted her to get on that track or been like oh no don't put no hooks on it this opportunity with cash doll probably wouldn't have happened so i want to give a shout out to janira for that she made that happen because i wasn't i haven't even met cash doll in person yet but it all came from me being willing to collaborate with a up and coming artist to try and get something going with her and then also give her opportunity to work with somebody else so i just wanted to put that out there like you guys don't be afraid to work with new people like i'm looking for new people to work with if you got some music and don't be one of them people that say oh, i want to work with you but you don't have any music up nowhere you don't have any social media or nothing like that because that ends up making it not even seem like you serious about it like if i can't check out your music then it's like what's the point like i had somebody who was asking me like they're like i'll fly you to such and such place i'm not gonna say where it is but they said i'll fly you here and um i want you to work on my album so i said okay what where can i hear some of your music well i don't have any music online why don't you have any music online my computer crashed so you don't have uh, instagram or nothing with snippets or anything they said they have nothing so i kind of just let that go because to me if you want somebody to take you serious you gotta have some type of presence somewhere whether it's youtube instagram you know hey even twitter but you gotta have something for me to listen to i can't just go off of that like oh you want to fly me here to work on your album and it's like i haven't even heard one single song from you but anyway y'all i decided to shoot these videos outside i got tired of being in the house uh, i had a few things going on where i wasn't able to um work like i was for like the past week so now i'm back to it um the lo-fi stuff coming along great and um yeah just wanted to make a quick video letting y'all know how i got the cash doll track on her mixtape i'll put the link to it in the description you guys go check that out let me know what y'all think another thing is i'll probably gonna do another another video on this is about the whole mixing of that track i didn't mix it but i'm gonna get into that in a different video so Take care. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Take care. <laughs>